Teresa, whether it's on the major highways you were talking about or just on the streets of New Haven, it's been snowing all morning, still snowing here. There was enough snow and this was enough of a surprise that we saw a lot of things go wrong on the roads as we were checking things out this morning. In Clinton, flashing lights lit up the night and a tractor trailer accident shut down part of I-95. That was the first accident we saw in the Mobile Weather Lab. So sure enough, it has closed down 95 north. We just uh, took a look. We're heading southbound. We're just getting on the southbound lanes of 95 right now. I want to show you, I know it's a little tough to see in the dark, but all those lights and reflective things you see facing the other way, that is all the traffic. That is northbound traffic at an absolute dead stop. It's been a particularly rough storm for trucks, and trucks happen to be what Charlie drives for a living. I'm used to an over-the-road truck driver. Normally, it doesn't bother me one bit. It's the other drivers you got to yeah, worry about. It's everybody else when they wipe out. You can't stop 80,000 pounds, it just slides. But it wasn't just trucks sliding around. This was a common sight around the state, a single car losing control and ending up pointing the wrong way. Here in Meriden, it's been snowing like crazy all through the morning rush hour, and drivers tell me they really weren't prepared for just how much snow we were going to get this time around. No, we wasn't, and it did surprise us. So it wasn't prepared at all for it. And how is the driving in? It's real, real crappy. It was not good at all. I actually like the snow. <laughs> really? Yes. Even driving in it? Even driving in it. What was the driving today? It was kind of slippery, kind of dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, here's one thing you're going to see a lot on the streets of New Haven. The guy right in front of us there, well, the sidewalk's not shoveled, so he is walking in the travel lane of the street. For all those motorists out there, here's another statistic for you. AAA has responded to more than 1,100 calls during this two-day storm. We're live in the Mobile Weather Lab in New Haven. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.